Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Looks like we got a big box of beer mail from uh, from a buddy Nate out in Colorado. Uh, has one of, was unable to try several of these before shipping. Wanted to get the enjoy by to you as soon as possible. Sorry if any any are duds. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it goes in the beer business, though. You never know till you try one what you're gonna get. Like, like uh, Forrest Gump says, "Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get." The way it is in the craft beer world, too. You never know. All right, the first one out of here, guys. Uh, Denver Beer Company. This is a 12 ounce can. Denver Beer Company, this is Hay Pumpkin, ale brewed with pumpkin and spices added. Brewed for sweater weather. Enjoy this harvest ale. Denver, Colorado. And at the bottom there is no dating. I don't see anything on it. So hopefully it's this year's edition. 5.4% alcohol. Hay Pumpkin, I don't think I've ever had it that particular one before guys. Sure there's quite a few pumpkins out there that aren't distributed in Virginia that I have not reviewed. I've not reviewed all of them that's done in, it's available here in Virginia. So alright we got another one here. This is the 12 ounce can. It says here no date recent release late September. He's written on the side here. Alright this is pumpkin ale, ale brewed with pumpkin honey and spice from Wincoop or Winecoop Brewery. 5.5% alcohol by volume. And basically these guys are just using generic silver cans with stick-on labels on the sides of them. And uh, I think I've done uh, a couple from, uh, from this brewery before, but... Uh, not done their pumpkin, so we got a couple of pumpkin beers to do again. Uh, I've re-reviewed a couple here recently, and uh, one or two that uh, that I haven't reviewed before. So, all right, the next one here, another can. We got them all in these little Ziploc baggies, which is always a good thing. Alright, this is Autumnal Mole Stout, ale brewed with peppers, cocoa, and spices from Sky, from Sky Brewing. Seasonal Stout. And this one says, 02 February 15, Best Buy. So, uh, they want you to have this by February 2nd of 2015. Uh, handcrafted Durango, very colorful can with a skeleton and some kind of tribal, got a, it looks like a dragon and very colorful can, very, very colorful. Not had that one before either, guys. Mole Stout. So, all right, the next one in the box, and this is a big box too. Thanks, Nate. I do appreciate it, sir. I'm sure it costs an arm and a leg to send this big box out here. That's the biggest uh, drawback to, to shipping beers is the, the shipping. I mean, the shipping is outrageous, especially for a box this big. I mean, it's a pretty heavy box. All right, this is, their, this is Stone's Coffee Milk Stout. I have not seen this here. A lot of the beers that Stone uh, does aren't sent out to uh, this side on the on the uh, on the East Coast here, and this says enjoy by December 31st of 2014. Ale brewed with roasted coffee beans, and this is a four point two percent alcohol by volume. So this is a uh, kind of a low ABV. And on the note uh, of Stone, they just announced that Richmond, Virginia 
is the city they're going to build their brewery, their new brewery on the East Coast is. And Richmond is about three hours away from me, so that's a good thing for us. Hopefully Virginia will be able to get all the beers that Stone does now that they're going to build the brewery over here in, in Virginia. So, very excited about that. Kind of wish that Roanoke had, uh, had got the, uh, got the uh, contract for it or, or, or won the site for them to build it, but I guess Richmond's close. The next best thing to to here in Roanoke, so uh, I'm pretty pretty happy about that. So, I like just about everything this thing does, and maybe I'll be able to get all the enjoy by beers now that they're going to do that. This is a very weird shaped bottle. This is Ghoul Fuel Autumn Ale. What's yours? Bull and Bush. And it's got a little boy and a little girl and they're both looking down inside their diapers. Mmm. Autumn Ale brewed with fresh Colorado pumpkins. From pumpkin patch to pint. A lightly spiced, richly colored Autumn Ale brewed with fresh, real, Colorado grown pumpkins. The perfect pint for a crisp Colorado day or a spooky night. Boo! <laughs> uh, see if it has an ABV. Here it is. 7% alcohol by volume. And I'm not seeing... I don't see a date or anything. Oh, let's see what we got here. Yep. Bottled on 9-24-14. So, pretty fresh release on that. And it's got a real colorful cap on there with the little boy and girl looking into the doctor says, what's yours? Bull and Bush. <laughs> I'll be saving that cap. Let me slide this around so you can see it. Ghoul Fuel. Bull and Bush Brewery. Alright. Next one in here. Looks like you've got it packed pretty good. Packed Chock full. Now he did, they did contact me, tell me he was sending this package. All right, this is January, January 14 release is what he's got on the side here. This is Crooked Stave, Saint. Rosetta? St. Rosetta, I think is how it's pronounced. Citrus Wild Beer, 100% Bretomyces. Winter Dark Artesian Ale, brewed with citrus fermented in oak fodders. Very unique shaped bottle here. Let's see what it says on the says serve at 46 to 54 2014 batch number five 6.8 percent alcohol by volume crooked stave all right very nice very interesting label well, it's got the mountains in the background and maybe a castle here in the front ground almost looks like a, a a painting on the front hmm. very interesting let's set that up right where y'all can see it very colorful label very unique bottle shape too all right the next one in here if i can get my knife to work And he's got a note on the back of this one, my go-to fall beer. And this is uh, Elysian Night Ale Pumpkin Ale. Night Ale Pumpkin Ale, ale brewed with pumpkin and pumpkin seeds and fermented with spices. Looks like it's got some kind of code. 
2114460. Looks like it's written on there to me. And brewed uh, by the Lucian Brewing Company, Seattle, Washington. Hmm. I had that one before. A night owl pumpkin ale. Very be beautiful owl on the front of that. So it looks like we got a, a few pumpkin beers to do again. Next one, a 12 ounce bottle. And this is from Avery. This is Avery's pumpkin porter brewed with pumpkin and spices aged in bourbon barrels. Wow, that sounds delicious. Ayo, oh wow. Ale by volume, 17.22, bottled September 12th of 2014. It says ale, ale by volume, not alcohol or ABV. You reckon that's a 17 percenter? I'll have to wait. I'm going to look that up and see if it is, but if that's a 17% pumpkin beer, that's going to be a big boy. And Avery's known for making some monster beers. But it says ale by volume, 17% instead of alcohol or ABV. And I don't see any other notations about ABV or something on here. So I guess we'll look it up and see if it's a 17%er. That's going to be a monster beer. Alright, wow, this box is packed full of beer. Nate has several, sent me several beer mail packages in the past. i to get this thing out of there without unwrapping it all the way. Here's another one from Avery. This is their, looks like it says Rufus, Rufus Corvus, Rufus Barrel Age Sour Ale. It says here 25% ale aged in Cabernet Sauvignon barrels, 9% ale aged in Chardonnay barrels, and 6% ale aged in Zinfandel, bar Zinfandel barrels. So this beer has been aged in three different types of wine barrels. April 7th of 2014, 6.83 alcohol by volume. And brewed and bottled by Avery Brewing, Boulder, Colorado. Number 19. Number 19 in our Barrel Age series. Very interesting. I'm not much into the sours, but I'm trying to expand my palate and get into them a little bit more. So we'll see what this one brings. Another, another one from Avery here. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Alright, another one in here. Big beer mail package. Alright, this is another one from Crooked Stave Brewing. This is their Ferris Fluxus. Wild Belgian Pale Ale, and this is a collaboration beer with Upslope Brewery. And I have had a couple of Upslope Brewing. This is a February 14 release, he says. 
and it is a 8% alcohol by volume beer. Wild Belgian Pale Ale. Sounds right interesting. Let me set that up there. Maybe it'll set there where y'all can see it. Well, it just goes on and on and on. This is a big box. I know this costs a fortune to send. Like Christmas time here. Okay. Another one from Avery. This is number 22 in our barrel age series. Ale aged in bourbon barrels. This is their five monks barrel age Belgian style Quinn. Tuple L. Ooh. July 17th of 2014. This is a 19.39% alcohol by volume beer. Wow. 19.39%. That is a Godzilla of a beer. Five monks. I've not heard of that. Boy, that is. It says on the back, feel free to sell her. Big beer. Ain't no doubt there. 19.39%. God. That's huge. That is a monster. I hear the phone ringing back there. Oh well, let it ring. Alright, the next one is a canned beer. Let's see. What this one is. And he's also got it in a Ziploc bag. He's put all the cans in a Ziploc bag. I guess he's afraid of them leaking laying down, I guess. This is. It's actually got a little bit of moisture inside the bag, so maybe it has leaked a little bit or sweated a little bit or something. This is Denver Beer Company's Graham Cracker Porter. Uh, 5.6% alcohol by volume on this one, and it doesn't have a date on it either. I don't see any year or anything on it either. So, another one from Denver Beer Company. Graham Cracker Porter. Don't that sound delicious? All right, I'm gonna set that up on top of this can. Uh, Graham Cracker Porter. It must be moisture because I don't smell any beer. Don't smell any graham crackers either. Wow, I'm going down in the bottom here. Wow, this is a big one. This is a, a big one from Lishan. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. E L Y S I A N. Lishan. Dark of the Moon Pumpkin Stout. Stout brewed with pumpkin and pumpkin seed with cinnamon added. Darker the Moon Pumpkin Stout is spookily smooth and chocolatey with a touch of cinnamon. It won the 2010 GABF Silver Medal in the Field Beer category. It says package 9 3 2014. So this is definitely a fresh one. Just a tad over a month old. And this is the big bottle, 22 ounce. Alright guys, I'm going to set some of these over here. Slide this around where y'all can see it. Very colorful. It's got the wolf. It's either a wolf or a werewolf. And a big moon in the background. Very nice. My gosh. It's going on and on and on. Wow. What a big beer mouth package. It's like a birthday and Christmas all wrapped into one. Alright. There's like another one from Avery. This is Avery's Brewing. 
This is their annual barrel series, batch number four. This is Rumpkin. Ale brewed with pumpkin and spices aged in rum barrels. It says ale by volume on this one, 16.73. Bottle September 22nd of 2014. And, and it doesn't have any other ABV listed on it. So I'm not sure, like I said, until we look it up. If it's actually a 16.73 percenter, but it says ale by volume instead of alcohol by volume. So, Rumpkin. Pumpkin beer aged in rum barrels. That sounds right interesting. Let's see. Yeah, there's still some down in here. This is look like another big one, another 22 ouncer. All right, all right, Nate, you the man. Enjoyed by 10:31:14. Didn't think I was going to be able to get my hands on one of these. Seeing everybody having it, reviewing it, and it's one of my favorites too. These Enjoyed by series, and uh, Nate graciously offered to uh, send me one. It's got a bottle on day here, but I can't read it. It's like it's been sm smudged off. It's like 09 is the month, but I don't see the date or the year it's been smudged off. So 9.4% alcohol by volume. Mm, I can't wait to have this. This is going to be delish. I am sure of that. I've not had a bad one of these enjoy buys. They are they are so citrusy and tropical. It's a hop head lover's beer. It really is. Can't wait for them to start building that brewery. I will definitely be making the trip to Richmond. Go for the tour, check it out. And like I said, hopefully we'll be able to get everything that they make now that they're going to be building it in Virginia. And I'm in Virginia only three hours away. All right, this one is Paradox Beer Company. I've had anything from these guys before. Wayward Beers Barrel Bound. Papitas Grand 2014. Dunk Your Dunk Your Face Project. Wild Dark Pumpkin Ale Aged in Oak Barrels. Bottle Condition Paradox Fermentation. 2014 this is number 13, bottle number 1367 of a total of 1800 bottles produced. Very limited edition. I don't see an ABV listed for it. Maybe it's on the back here. I do not see it. Released August 2014. Truly a special. I don't see the ABV listed on here, guys, so we'll have to look it up. It looks like a uh, kind of a pricey beer right there. Hmm. Well, everybody knows what the Enjoy by looks by, so I'm going to set that back here in the back. Put the Paradox up here where y'all can see it. Can y'all see that label? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, let's see. Wow, there's still more in here. Alright, we got another one. Another bomber. This looks like a stone beer too. Oh yeah, this is the stone collaboration beer. Uh, Chris Banker Stone and ins Insurgent Brewing. This is a Exo Covit Coviza. Exo Coviza Mocha Stout, pronounced no, pronounced Show Coveza, pronounced Show Coveza. Ale brewed with cocoa, coffee, peppers, vanilla, cinnamon, and nutmeg, 8.1% alcohol by volume, bottled on 082314. Wow. I have seen this, uh, 
being reviewed by other reviewers, but uh, I've not uh, I've not seen it here or or not picked it up if it was available here. Wow, very nice. I'm gonna pull this Avery out of here, put that back, and set this up here. Think y'all y'all can see it. Choco Vesa. Choco Vesa. Alright, this is the next one. Can you believe all these beers in this box? Wow. That's incredible. We must have been saving up for a while. Well, because most of these are pretty fresh. He went and spent a fortune, didn't he? Thanks, Nate. Appreciate it, brother. This is another one from uh, What's Yours, Bull and Bush. This is Colorado Barrel, Colorado Barrel Collective Barrel Aged Milk Stout. Ice Cream Clone, it says. And it's on a very dark label, so some of the writing is hard to read. The second installment of our 435 part series, better known as the Colorado Barrel Collection. Artist Collective, Mile High Wine and Spirits, Grapevine Wine and Liquors, Bull and Bush Brewery, Installment 2, Barrel Aged Ice Cream Clone Stout. And it says here, See which way it's written. 9, 10, 14. And it is a 6% alcohol by volume beer. So, not had anything from these guys. Now I've got uh, two of them. And they got a very colorful cap and a weird shaped bottle here, too. So, I'm going to bring this one back around here and set that one up there in front of the other one. Y'all can see that. Let's see. Wow, they're still down in here, guys. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, the next one in here. This is another one from Elysian. This is Punkachino Coffee Pumpkin Ale. Got a pumpkin drinking a cup of cappuccino with a spider web in the corner. Very colorful, very nice label. Coffee pumpkin ale, a pumpkin ale with the attitude of a world weary barista. Pumpkachino packs a short shot of slum town. Stump, is it slum or stump? Stump town coffee toddy. In your pint with just a shake of cinnamon and nutmeg. This is a 5% alcohol by volume beer. And it's got a, looks like a date code on the bottom of it, but I cannot read it. 082914. So, a Punkachino. I don't know if I've ever had a Punkachino beer before. But we're going to jerk this stone beer out of here. And put the Punkachino beer up here in the center. Let y'all see what that looks like. <laughs> the Endless Bottom. Another one here. Oh, is this another one? Did you send me two? Alright, alright. A second stone enjoyed by 103114. He has sent me two of him. Bless his little heart. Oh, wow. One to review and, and one to cherish. One to share. I think that may. No. There's another one in here. Now, this is going to be a 20 minute beer video. I don't think I've ever been sent this many beers before at one time. I think Nate is, uh, I think Nate has won the prize for shipping the, the most beers in one package before. I don't think I've ever had this many in one box before. 
This is from uh, Wasatch Brewery. This is their Black O' Lantern Pumpkin Stout, brewed with pumpkin and spices. In yellow letters on the bottom of the bottle here, it says enjoyed by January 11 of 2015. <laughs> Alone in his laboratory one stormy night, a madman crossed an imperial stout with pumpkin to create this Franken brew. How good is it? Well, scary good. Food pairings, eye of newt, devil's food cake. <laughs> Pretty nice, I like that. This is a 6.5% alcohol by volume beer. I bet it's going to be tasty too. Stout, pumpkin stout. Sounds pretty damn good. Bring this around, set that up there. Got a nice scary jack-o'-lantern in there. Let's see, is that the last one? I believe it is. I believe that we hit, we hit the bottom. Unbelievable. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I think that's right. Twenty-one beers. All 12 ounces except for one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Five of them are 22s, and this one is a 500 milliliter, like a small wine bottle. So, massive, massive beer mail package from Nate. Nate, you the man, buddy. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't had any of these beers before, so you did very well. Uh, like you said, I don't know if some of them are, 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 are some of them are losers or does, as you put it, or whatever. But we're going to review them and we'll see what we end up with. And I do appreciate it, regardless of where they end up. It is very much appreciated, sir. And uh, we're going to take care of you. We're going to get your uh, get you a shirt out and, uh, and your bottle opener out to you ASAP, brother. So. Uh, uh, we're going to get these into the fridge and get them chilled down. Speaking of the fridge, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. 